The FBI statistics. Found them. Lisa had a breath. I had a breath. I ran all the way back. I realized this is not the best neighborhood in the world. Yeah. You want driving? I've had a rough night. Cynthia was remarkable, all right. But the next day, I was about to meet some women who were downright shocking. I was learning that the physical life can take many forms. For these women, it's an all-consuming passion. Sometimes that scares men. Some of the guys don't like it. They, they think we're trying to be men. Oh, my God. Who'd want to be a man? Who'd want to be a man? When I got to the gym, there were a lot of women in here who looked like guys. And it was really depressing. And it scared me. It scared me a lot. I feel totally feminine. In fact, I feel more feminine now than I've ever felt in my life. Because my body's shapely. And it's hard as a rock. Nothing jiggles. I don't believe there's any limits. Part of the fun is to come into the gym and see how far you can take yourself. Quit training? Oh, I'll never quit training. Training is sex. Would you quit sex? I get a high off of pumping with it. Something you do forever. It's just, just something for a woman. My back is wide and here it tapers in to a nice, a nice hip structure like finely shaped glutes. It's the fact that when you begin to work glutes, you get a, a nice shape to them. Somehow they're firm. They stand up instead of sagging. I don't like biceps, though. But you know what? Some men think it's better than your breast. So bodybuilding women get to have four breasts. Lucky us, huh? Occasionally, I feel out of place. Occasionally, I feel kind of freaky. You know, when you get dressed up into some evening attire, sometimes it's, it's, sometimes I feel somewhat less attractive. My husband felt threatened by the bodybuilding. There was a lot of time involved in the gym, time away from the, um, from the children. And I was around a lot of men, and I, I think that it was very threatening for him. My husband's into weight training. Uh, he's the one that got me involved in it some three and a half years ago. He was spending a lot of time at the gym, and, uh, and I decided to join him rather than stay home by myself. I kept reading all these magazines, and especially one um, by Rachel McLeish. And I really liked her physique. I thought it was real pretty, sexy. and. Um, she was a very feminine lady. She didn't look like a guy. Where do you see the women that are coming out of this generation? My motto is get ready to take over the world. When I was competing, I spent a lot of time training here. It was a nice surprise to see that some of my old pals were still so into it. I thought you were just playing tennis. But obviously, the girl's still in shape. <laughs> All I know is I'm glad I don't have to compete anymore. You were the first. You were the first to have a two-part bicep to split. Do you still have it? Oh my God. Oh God. All right. Well, that's good, Rachel, because you're still it. You're still there. No one can replicate your style. One of a kind remains so. Tough workouts, if you do them right are the best way to keep your body looking young. The thing is to squeeze and contract all you got. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so good. Ah, oh, you do it. I'd rather deadlift. <laughs> You'd rather deadlift? Yeah. You mean this way? Yeah. This way? Great. That's right. Good. That's it. That's Send it. Send your legs straight when you go back. Really oh, oh, ow. <laughs> this is what's 
gonna give you the shape and the tightness. Think so? You burn off lots of calories too. I'll do it. <laughs> How many more? That's it. Just keep strict form, okay? Mm. Wait. Ah. Wait. <laughs> I'm cramping. I'm cramping. Okay, on three. Ready? Up. In bodybuilding, like many other sports today, the issue of steroids casts an ugly shadow. Those who won't use them can't always compete on an equal level, but the short-term gains are hardly worth the long-term side effects. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay, break. Break. It's hard. You don't throw the weights in the middle of the set, man. You've got a lot of weight for that movement. You can break your back, you know, and then you'll wreck some... everything, and then what? Just sometimes, I mean, well, here we are training, working our butts off, and... Some people in train get get up there faster. It's like you train hard, you work hard. I come in there at five in the morning, I sweat, go to school, go to work, come back and sweat. It's my whole life. I mean, there's no social life, there's no anything. And people can come in here and you know they're on steroids. I don't even train. I'm gonna stay hard for months. Months. If I don't train for one week, I'm um I'm, I'm loose, you know that. You've got to just keep going at it. And it just it's painful. It hurts. One thing is medical fact. If Mimi were using steroids, she would be hurting a lot more. Anabolic steroids are a form of the hormone called testosterone. That's the stuff that turns boys into men. Unfortunately for women, it does the same things to them. Mustaches and beards begin to appear. Facial features become enlarged. Body hair begins to increase. And the voice becomes deeper. There is mounting medical evidence that using these steroids can lead to severe mental and emotional problems. They can cause cancer of the liver and kidneys. They raise blood pressure. And they can clog the arteries, increasing the chances for a heart attack. The damage the steroids can cause is irreversible. It's permanent. And the ultimate side effect is death. Away from you, what you've worked for, the character you've built, and you have to sleep in your own skin every single night. That's true. Knowing that you're not destroying your body. Being a champion isn't winning a title with steroids. Yeah. I want a picture out of this. I'm sorry, Rachel. I know, come on. Know. Are you ready? As I said, some of these women are pretty startling indeed. <laughs> Rachel McGlish was proving to be the ideal guide for my journey through the world of feminine physicality. After our next stop, there would be no doubt whatsoever.